the final configuration we need is for notifications. And what we want to do is make it so that the form sends an email to us once it's been filled in. So if we click on notifications, which is part of the settings of the form, and then edit the admin notification, which is set up by default normally. Okay, so we want to send it to ourselves normally, or maybe our sales email or inquiries email. So I'm going to put in our inquiry email address. And now the from name, what we want to do is choose the merge tags for name and then a space and then last name so that when we receive this email we can reply to it if we want and it will go back to the person who filled in the inquiry form and so the from email we need to choose the email merge tag there great so that's the basic settings there we could set a BCC if we wanted to to send it to an, another email as a blind carbon copy. Now the default subject, new submission from, and then the form title. Uh, and what I sometimes think is a good idea is to add the website address onto this subject so that you know for sure which website this inquiry has come from and that it's definitely you know the one that normally comes from your website. So um, you know, I'll put in, put in the uh, website address. Now the rest of the form, <clears throat> uh, it's going to drop all of the fields into the message. You know, we could prefix this if we wanted to, to say, uh, hey, you've got a new message or something like that if you wish. But again, this is just coming back to you as the administrator or the person who's receiving the inquiry. So once you've made your various settings changes for notifications, press update notification and we're done.